and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Madden Saturday Legends. Now, you guys already know, every Saturday, they drop three Legends, which actually, a lot of you guys who are new to Madden might not actually know that because this year, they, inter they implemented the month 10, so obviously, that took up 10 weeks of our time, starting from August, I believe. August, September, October. Yeah, you know, I started, like, near the end of October, uh, August. So, you guys, if you guys are new to Madden, you might have never actually knew that, but... Pretty much every Saturday, they drop a limited time legend and two set legends, which mean those are the two with the collections, the limited time you have to pull, obviously a lot more rare, a lot more expensive, but that month 10 was replacing that. So now we're back to the old routine of three legends on Saturdays, and today's legend drops are actually pretty cool. I do like just about all three of them, and I'll go, obviously I'll go over should you pick them up, go over if they're worth it, compare them to a few other guys, obviously before I get, while well, I'm getting into everything, but Personally, I love Legend Saturday. It's a great day for Legends. It's a good pack day for you guys. We, there's a good market talk to make because there's going to be a lot of changing market stuff with uh, Legends out. And it's a good day to snipe Legend uh, pieces and Legend cards. But the market goes down. Like, the Legend Saturday is just always a fun time. It's a nice relaxed morning. But, guys, before we get into the video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Smash the like button. You guys have been going crazy with the like button lately. Comment down below when you guys see the Legends what you think of all three of them and who's your favorite one. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, boys. Hit the noti bell. Come join the family, boys. Thank you so much for all you guys who keep joining the family. And now let's go over to Twitter where I have all the cards and show you guys each and every one of their stats. We got 92 tight end Dallas Clark for the Colts. You guys should already know Dallas Clark. The only issue with Dallas Clark is that he is a repetitive legend because we do have him as a captain. But I don't entirely mind because if you have to think about it, right? It was Clark, Law, Ty Law, Shazier, Herman Moore, and most people took Shazier. I rarely, like I see them, but I rarely see her in more Tyler or Dallas Clark. So quite honestly, it's not the worst repetitive legend because we know that most people in the community most likely do not have him. Now, if you guys know anything about Dallas Clark, Dallas Clark typically is like a wide receiver at tight end. He's like a slower wide receiver at tight end, which for a tight end that actually works very well. And I like his card, but I'm gonna go into a few reasons why I think I might recommend someone else over him, but it all depends on the game, the style of which you play. Now. His archetype looks like an arrow up. I don't know what that means. A circle and uh, an up arrow. But he has 47 salary cap. He's six foot three, right? So the, the, the build's fine. The frame is fine for a tight end. He has 84 speed, which is actually really good for a tight end. But he's not that much faster than like the guys you take now, like Kittle or Evan Engram. Kittle's actually faster, and so is Engram. But Dallas Clark's up there in speed. 68 strength's a little bit low, but it depends on how you use him. 92 catch is amazing. 92 catch traffic amazing 89 spec catch is amazing so he's pretty much like a wide receiver with amazing hands there then he's got 89 short route running and 90 medium route running now to be honest guys that might be glitchy as hell because like i said tight ends get matched up on linebackers they go down the seams wide open they do out routes wide open they get matched up on like people might put their linemen on their offensive linemen on them if they don't have anyone on them you know like or in man when you blitz man the only reason why you can't always take advantage of someone blitzing you heavy when a man when you have a tight end is because guys like maybe Kittle or them who don't have the best route running, they make the cut, but it's too slow and not sharp enough so they can still stay with it. A guy like Clark is going to make that cut insanely fast and probably break a 40 yarder after that. I'm just telling you guys, I think Dallas Clark might actually be really glitchy. You guys, can you please let me know down below what you guys think of him? Like, wait, try him out, let me know. I might have to pick him up. I'm not entirely sure yet, but his stats do look glitchy. I'm telling you, like, I know exactly. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's like when you send the tight end out on, like, an out route or an in route. He goes up, and then he cuts, and if he's on man, he's, he's, he's loose. And if it's in a zone sometimes, sometimes it doesn't look too great because, again, if you if you time these routes perfectly, it's it's great. But with guys like Kittle and stuff who have little, like, slow routes, you don't always get to feel the op of it. But Dallas Clark might be pretty amazing. Seam routes, streak routes, a lot of good route running stuff you can do. Post routes. And no one expects that from the tight end. So, like, no one's going to be really, like, on it like that, which is the best part. Everyone's check. Everyone's worried about your, your running back with evasive and your wide receivers with Moss. That's why I always get Kittle open, wide open for a lot of things. But me personally, I do I like Dallas Clark. Yes. Would I get him? Yes. Do I know if he's glitchy or just good? Not yet. We have to, we have to see how he's going to feel against in this Madden. Obviously, we haven't had a tight end of this caliber just yet. Now, let's head over to the next player real quick. Next player, we got Keith Bullock. This name sounds familiar. I believe we had him last year. I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. 
92 overall, right outside linebacker. He has the fly swatter archetype. 33, or probably pick swatter. Hmm. Pass, uh, that wouldn't even make sense. 33 salary cap. Um, I personally don't know Keith Bullock that well, but I do know he was has been a Madden. He's a football player, obviously, but as far as my knowledge goes of him, he's six foot three with 86 speed, 87 excel. So, as athleticism, solid. 74 strength, 88 tackle, solid. 90 play rec, solid. Block shed, solid. 54 power move, eh. 61 finesse move, eh. So his his pass his pass rushing horrendous. He's not a pass rusher. His 85 block shedding, decent. He's not the best run stuffer. 90 play rec, great. 88 tackle. So it looks like if a guy runs at him, he can tackle him. His his his, his athleticism is pretty great. So what I wonder is if does he have a zone? If he has a zone, this card isn't horrible, but I feel like he doesn't. I feel like this card is strictly a decent run stuffer, which would be kind of weird. I'm not. I don't. I don't really like this guy's stats. I'm gonna give him like a five out of ten. I really don't think this card is that great. The only way I would, if he has like an 88 zone or something or something crazy, I'll take it all back. But for the time being, we don't obviously know that, and I feel like he isn't exactly a zone guy either. But you never know with that speed and athleticism and play rec, it's very possible. So I said over to the next card, guys. But oh, actually, comment down below again if you guys use this card, if you know him well, if you know what his stats are gonna look like, because. Obviously, Keith Bullock isn't in my range of knowledge, but like I said, I, I don't think he's that great. I So far, I like Alex Clark a lot better. I think he's the best legend so far. Obviously, we're going to check out the limited time legend and go over his stats first before we can make any judgment on who's the worst, although I think Keith Bullock might be taking that. And the last card is the limited time LTD legend. He has the archetype of the stopping thing, and he has Brian Ballsworth. I, again, don't really know this guy, but I've heard the name, and his stats actually look pretty, pretty great, depending on how you play. How, how, depends on how you run your team, right? Certain guys will play better on your team depending on the way you like to actually put your team together and the way you need certain positions to play. Like, for me, I have two middle linebackers. One just needs good athleticism and pretty good hit power, and I can run him, I, and I use him, so the rest doesn't really matter, right? Now, one, my other linebacker probably needs a decent zone, good athleticism, and good run stuffing. So it all really depends on how you run your team, right? If he's if he's the loose line, I think I think Bosworth will be the loose linebacker. If you're not, that's like the one you don't touch on user. But let's go into his stats and I'll explain why. He's six foot two, great height, great height for a linebacker. He is he has 87 speed, 88 excel, great athleticism. Although it's not much better than White, Shazier, or Lewis, so it's like it's like right in line. So like that's the issue with what they're doing. If you drop a middle linebacker right now, that's just as good as Ray Lewis, if not worse. Then why would you ever take this one because he's LTD? But Besides the point, 88 strength, which is great. 92 tackle, amazing. 91 play rec, amazing. 90 block shit, amazing. 90 power, amazing. 66 zone coverage. Now, I'm going to pull up Ray Lewis real quick on my team so I could just compare stats real quick because I'm pretty sure that my powered up Ray Lewis is looking a lot better than this card. I could be wrong. Obviously, comparing powered up is a little unfair, but 88 Ray Lewis, right? I mean, 95. So, not, not well, Ray Lewis is 93. Powered up 94. 88 speed, which is better than him. 90 excel 87 strength which is like the same so far they're like almost similar right if you take off Ray Lewis's power up they're identical in athleticism 95 tackle so they're close in that too 95 play rec on mine again you take off some of the powered up and you're still slightly better block shed 90 same thing 93 hit power take that same thing 71 zone it looks like Ray Lewis and Brian Ballsworth are identical replicas almost identical Barely a difference, so it comes down to preference. So for me personally, I'd probably take Ray Lewis. First off, I'm a much bigger Ray Lewis fan. A little more brand name to me personally, my generation. And also because he is a limited time card, he's going to be crazy rare to pull, super expensive, and you won't see him until tier three, uh, tier four reduxes. So in my opinion, I'll probably go Ray Lewis instead. Now let's head over back to the Madden screen to close out this video. Back on the screen where I'm just sitting anyways. This is my Ray Lewis right here, as you guys can see on the back of the card stats. Obviously, he's got some boost, but I, I subtract a lot of that. If you guys look, it's almost the same thing. 88, 90, 87, 95, 95, 90, 93, 7, 71. But again, you have to take all those boosts off. I quite honestly don't even know where those tackle boost is coming from, but I'll take it. But the point being is, guys, personally, I think that Ray Lewis is almost... I think Ray Lewis is the same thing, if not better. I'd recommend saving your coins in a limited time and going with Ray Lewis. Now, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now make sure to comment down below who you think are the the worst ones. Which which ones are you gonna add to your team? I think out of these three, you're adding you're adding Dallas Clark to the team most likely if you want a new tight end. If you're in the market for tight end, you probably go Dallas Clark. But his run block is a little ass, which is gonna hurt him a little bit. So again, like I said, he's a wide receiver. So you have to remember that if you put him in there, it's like adding a fourth receiver to your team in a very um, let's see a very 
advantageous spot where you could take advantage of. Meanwhile, I have guys like Kittle who have the run blocking, which I used to have more of a running scheme. But guys, comment down below. I personally like Clark the best. I think Bosworth second best. I think Bullock's all the way at the end. But if we're going to reverse by coins, then I have to put him at end because he's going to be too expensive. But that's about it. Make sure to comment down below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Always smash that like button if you're loyal to the channel and come here every day. If you made it this far, you might as well. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that naughty bell, boys. Come join the family. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.